All right, so we're running our sensor 2028 system with the Mamba Monster X 8S, and we're going to be doing some temperature readings, of course. Only difference is we actually geared up from a 34 to a 39 tooth. And I'm out here with Ace's RC Garage. So if you want to follow him on Instagram, definitely do so. He's rocking a beautiful 2200 kV sensor setup with the Mamba Monster X ESC and his Revo 2.0. And he's got a wicked uh, DBXL that he actually pulled the trigger on. That was only $600. Uh, I don't know where I was, but I wasn't on this planet if I missed that. Yeah. Watching out for the rustler. As our battery cut off, so we're out of battery right now. This thing has lasted like half an hour, man. 140. One, come on, 145. 146. ESC. 100. 102. Damn. Very, very nice. And we're still rocking the uh, 39. Let me turn this off. Still working the 39 tooth. And I think I'm going to keep this in here because it's hot, but it's not, you know, deathly hot. Yeah, that's warm. And it's warm. Yeah, it's also kind of swollen. Uh, where's my temp on? Right here. 120. Damn. 
that is amp draw. 127, 26. Jesus, yeah, this thing is swollen too. It's really hard to see, but I could see it. It's a little bit puffed out. You can see it from the inside. Yeah, so the cells are just experiencing a lot of load. You know, normally voltage cutoff is around 3.2 to 3.1 volts. So that's probably why the ESC was cutting off because there's too much load on the batteries and the voltage is dropping way too much. These batteries are awesome up until this caliber of a setup. So I really need to uh, invest in better batteries. Don't get me wrong, these batteries are amazing. But we just need batteries that could really handle this caliber of a setup. It's just, I'm really pushing it. For next video, we're gonna try this out. A heat sink and NTF fan combo from NTF, who is Nick Tordella. Uh, we're gonna see if it could keep this 10 to 15 degrees cooler because 145 to 150 degrees at the end of the day is, that's actually a great temperature at the end of the battery life. Uh, but if we could keep the motor like 10 to 15 degrees cooler, uh, it's only gonna benefit everything. So we're gonna see what this little combo can do and have a good one guys.